Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? This is Amanda. So today is the Cancer New Moon. It's the 10th of July and we have a powerful weekend coming up. Um, I'd like to talk about something today which is linked into the Cancer New Moon and it follows on from what I was talking about in my YouTube video um, for Cancer New Moon where we were talking about the concept of home and being at home, feeling at home. Where are we at home? Uh, I'm going to be careful with my words in terms of this message. I do not want it to be divisive. I would just like it to be Metatron showing me a, a, a light, like a beacon that is lit and some people can gather around for warmth because they totally get what I'm about to say. And, you know, I think we need to pull together those of us that are of a certain um, persuasion at the moment. And yes, I am talking jab. But equally, um, for those that maybe chose a different path, uh, a different decision to have it, I, I have, <coughs> excuse me, I've repeatedly said on my channel that I have no issue with that. You have free will. Um, if you teach sovereignty and empowerment, then you have to respect everybody's free will choice to be able to make the decision that they feel is right for their body. OK. Um, having said that, having said that, why do I want to talk about this again for Cancer New Moon? And the concept of home. <clears throat> Sorry, it's early in the morning. My voice is a bit croaky. Um, in the UK today, we have breaking news again. I mean, I think I'm sure they just put these bits out to test the waters to see whether people are going to bite or whether people are going to rebel or whether people are just going to lie over and um, allow the policies that they want to bring in to come in. So the latest piece of news coming in today is that they want to bring in compulsory um, jab passports for you to be able to enter any pub, any restaurant, any nightclub from the autumn. They mooted this, um, I don't know, a few months ago and it was... Um, derailed because of opposition within the House of Commons, more than I think people standing up, actually. It was more coming from, you know, within the political parties there was division. But again, it's being mooted. This time it feels as though it wants to come in with force. And this also comes on the back of reports coming in from America <clears throat> of a policy that, to be honest, I can't see how they would even be able to implement it with the millions of people over there. But, you know, the policy to knock on your door, your home, and offer you the jab. Now, let's just think about that. Somebody knocking on your door, your private space, your home, your place of sanctuary, offering you something that you may have declined you may have already had, but unless you've been living on a different planet with fingers in your ears, blindfolds on, you will be aware of what has been happening over the last 18 months. You're aware if you're in a country that has the option to get it, that you have the option to get it. Um, there's something deeply intrusive about somebody knocking on your door in that way. There is also something very wrong with excluding a portion of society, which would include me, um, from feeling at home and being able to enter places such as a restaurant, a pub, a club, etc. Probably also be theatres, I imagine. It will just carry on. If, if they get away with that, it would then extend out to other places. It would be cinemas, it would be theatres, it would be musical venues. I'm not fear-mongering here. This is the reality that we're living in. 
And I actually feel as though this is now moving. What, we're, what we need to do is we need to find a common ground, whether you've had the jab or you've not had the jab, to be able to see that we're entering and we always actually were in this, an energy of the right to choose. And the right to choose also comes, of course, into other areas of life as well. But this is a big example because it's happening everywhere. I'm just using the UK and USA as examples here of two things linked into home. Do you feel at home <clears throat> or do you feel excluded from your decision to not have it? Um, now, everyone's different. Everyone has a different personal makeup. Everyone has different circumstances. It may well be that going forward, some people who have decided not to have it think the battle is lost. I'm just going to roll up my sleeve and comply because that's what they want you to do. They want you to comply. I'm not going to get into the safety and the F any of that. It's just about the control. We're telling you to do it or we're going to exclude you from certain places where you should feel at home because you are a citizen of Mother Earth and you should be welcome anywhere. I'm hearing it's a new apartheid and that's a very strong word, I realise, but it's just been dropped in by spirit. There's a new apartheid going to be coming up with this. And it feels as though there are a couple of countries and I'm ashamed to say, I think my country, UK, is probably going to be one of the cheerleaders for it, whereby it comes in in force. Unless, unless, this is Cancer New Moon. Can new Moon is about bringing in something new. So are you OK with that or are you not? Now, some of you might say, yeah, it's fine. You know, you should all be having the jab anyway. What's the problem? The problem, my friends, is that next time when something is forced upon you, it might be something that you don't agree with having put into your body or something you're asked to do that goes against your principles. It's interesting also that cancer, today's new moon, cancer is what they call a um, cardinal sign. And... I just looked this up because I was interested. Um, the word cardinal comes from the Latin, which is cardinalus, which means principle or pivotal. The role of the cardinal signs is to push forward, be first and initiate. So for me, this is a point of principle. It's a pivotal moment. It would be a pivotal moment. Well, it already is, but if these laws are brought into being, that you are excluded from places where you should feel at home and you should be welcomed. I personally would not be one of the ones that would be throwing in the towel. My makeup is very much that if I'm pushed up against a wall, I will fight stronger. And um, I was thinking this morning about how far would you go with this? And I truly feel I would go all the way. I just feel it's so important to take a stand for choice. Um, and so rather than going into victimhood about this, um, we need to see it as an opportunity to be able to stand by our principles if this is something we feel strongly about. And as I say, if those of you that have already had it and are fine with it, um, I still feel this message is for you because, as I say, there may very well be, without wishing to bring it in, you might then come across something else in life where something is forced upon you against your will and you're denied entry to things, places and the world, because we're not even talking about travel yet, but travel will come into it. How would you feel? Um... So those of us that are in this group already, we're just going through this first. So it's a bit of a heavy message for Cancer New Moon. But then again, I work with the energy of Metatron, which is about duality. 
my video on YouTube was a feel good one. And, um, you know, this is the shadow side. This is, OK, let's now look at how it feels to not feel at home. To be denied access. To be told to effectively. I'm hearing put up or shut up. The thing is, we're not going to put up and shut up. I'm not anyway. And I know there's lots of you out there that agree with me and others that are talking in this way as well. But we need to do so moderately because nobody listens to a raving lunatic, you know, who just is shouting and screaming in people's face and creating division and hatred and separation. You will only be listened to and taken seriously if you manage to maintain gentle strength, to use intelligence, to be coming from your heart, to be following your principles, but to equally take into account everybody else that's out there as well. So today, for example, um, I reached out to a friend that I haven't seen for a long time. She's a very dear friend of mine and uh, I'm meeting her in August and it'll be lovely. But she just mentioned she's jetting off to Portugal soon for a couple of weeks. And I said, lovely. And she said, it's great because we don't obviously now have to uh, self-quarantine when we get back because we've had the jab. And I just said, lovely. That's great. Because I didn't want to go there. She's a friend. I respect her choice. But, you know, there is this thing about, well, you can do that, but maybe we can't. Well, I suppose we could if we really wanted to. You could go and have your tests and all the rest of it, quarantine for two weeks, whatever the rules are. It's different everywhere. But we're, we're setting up a two-tier society here. And we've already got enough division in our world. Do we want to create another new apartheid? We're all participants in this. And we all should care. Anything else to say, Metatron, on this Cancer New Moon? No, he's saying this is a collective lesson in uh, sovereignty and freedom and choice and standing up for choice and not giving in to fear and pulling together and being there for each other. And he's showing me now an example, and I know who it is in my life. It's actually my brother, who, if, for example, this new rule came in and we would be denied access to pubs, and my, you know, he loves all that, as do I, but he's had his jab and I haven't. My brother would be sitting outside with me <laughs> rather than being inside because he loves me and he respects my choice. That's what I mean about pulling together. It's not about attacking people who've had a different, who have a different perspective to you. But you have to build the bridge. I'm hearing that song by Spandau Ballet now. Um, what was it called? The Barricades, Through the Barricades. You have to be able to reach out for each other. But we shouldn't be even having to do this. The barricades shouldn't be going up in the first place. It's a question for you, Cancer New Moon, to maybe think about this and to dream in a world whereby fear is lifted, which is the main thing that's breeding this whole virus anyway, going into our hearts and seeing the world opening up, not the world being segregated further. I send you my love. If what I've said has resonated, please link it to other people. Not from a place of ego from me that I want lots of people to see it. Well, I do, because I want the message out there. It's not about me. This is much bigger than any person. It's a point of principle and it's a pivotal moment. Take care of yourselves. Much love. Back next week. Bye.